Hi, BookTube. And today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to try and do a discussion video. Yeah. And this is going to be a discussion response to Michael S. Deutsch and his discussion about um, why there aren't very many popular male booktubers. Yep. Um, and we're also going to kind of just talk about the questions um, to a male booktube tag that was created by J.S. Chea. And we'll link him down below. Um, and just kind of... We're just going to chat about it. We're going to chat about it, yeah. Because I want to get your opinion on it. Because I... You don't consume as much booktube as I do. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. As far as popular male booktubers, uh -huh. I think there are a few out yep. there. Um, and I think they're... I don't think... I don't know what sets them apart. Uh, other than maybe having the ability to post regularly, interact with their audience more, things like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the questions. Well, I mean, yeah. th so so I don't generally watch, like, the big, big booktubers right. because I feel like they sound so fake and they, they're all saying the exact same things. They're mm -hmm. making the same exact videos. And they're like, oh, look, I got sent all these books and they're, like, the best thing ever. And they say the same, like, points as they're... Anyways, so I know Jesse, Jesse Reader, Jesse the Reader, Jesse the yeah. Reader mm -hmm. is one of those really big popular booktubers, and I think that he fits in right there at the top, like doing his thing. His videos are yeah. very similar. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. very popular. Yeah, and it, I, I don't watch him because I don't watch any of those really big booktubers, but he does read a lot of similar things to what I would read, but I. I don't find myself going out of the way to to watch his videos. I have watched some of his top top 10 or whatever yeah. list videos, things like that, that, that I find fascinating. Uh, not that I have anything against him. No, as, no, as no, 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 of course channel, not. Of course, and everyone on BookTube's hopefully grown up enough to understand. Hopefully. It's not criticism on anyone. No. Uh, anyway, it's... I, I even, even despite he reads what I what I read... Yeah. Again, with your point of the bigger booktube channels, I, I do kind of not watch people if their subscriber count is higher yeah. than a certain level, yeah. which is kind of strange. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I will look, um, I will go and find, like, Savage Reads, I think, is yes. his channel. Mm -hmm. I love his channel because he talks about books that I've never heard of before, which mm -hmm. is something I look for. In a, you know, when I'm consuming booktube, I want to hear new things about new books I haven't heard about. Not the same points on the same books. So, I love his channel. Yeah, he's, he he's has very a great popular. channel. Yeah, he has, he has a lot of subscribers, but he has a very different vibe than, I think, some of the more mainstream, I guess if you will, uh, channels sure. of booktube. So, do you think there's a lack of male... Booktubers on Booktube. This is actually a question off of the tag. Right. It says, do you, and why? Why mm -hmm. would there be a lack? Um, I think that it's definitely majority female. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that there is a serious deficit. I mean, maybe it's just because I go out of my way to find new voices that are saying different things. And so I subscribe to a lot of male booktubers. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why my feed looks a little different. But I think there are... I mean, obviously it's not 50-50. Yeah. I'd say it's like 25-75. Right. Mm -hmm. I completely agree with that. I think there's as many males on booktube as want to be on booktube. Yeah. I don't think there's any kind of grand um, conspiracy or any kind of uh, force preventing uh, right. any any males from joining BookTube. Uh, I encourage everyone that wants to be a part of BookTube to join in. Absolutely. I think video games are are a big part of of what it is. Um, generally, general to, to generalize by gender. Yeah. Uh, males play a lot of video games, myself included. Um, that's Sam from Thoughts on Tomes loves video and, games, and, and, and that's she... and that that demographic is changing. But right. you, you know, I'm from just flicking shit. right from, 
for my age demographic, it was very much weighted towards males. And and if you look at YouTube and the kind of and and look at video game channels, it's it, very male dominated. I, I mean, they might have unfortunately females in there that might just be for sex appeal. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. um, that's a whole other discussion. We won't even need to get into that. Not to say there aren't authentic female gamers. Absolutely. Right. Um, I think maybe a, a reason why um, there's not as many male booktubers is there are a lot of young booktubers mm-hmm. that are still in high school or in college. And from my experience, I've found that females generally gravitate more towards recreational reading in those younger years. Um, it's just my personal experience. Mm-hmm. Um, just like what you were saying with with video game, uh, YouTube videos, right? Like, if I have a choice whether I'm going to watch someone else play a video game and talk to me about how they're strategizing their mm-hmm. that, or if I'm going to listen to someone gush for 20 minutes about the, the best book ever that they just read, you know, I'm obviously going to lean towards a, one, and I think... Mm-hmm. Well, that's a that's a whole nother level to it. The whole Twitch streaming, just what you're playing too. You yeah, know, I was more speaking to just like game reviews, things like that. Oh, okay. Um, which, which that yeah, that's a huge part of of online streaming. Yeah. Um, content. Yes. Would you like to see more male booktubers? Um, I, absolutely. I mean, I, I'm interested in seeing whoever wants to join join. Yeah. That's that's how I feel about it. I don't think anyone is going to add anything more to BookTube specifically by their gender. Right. Uh, so anyone I, who wants to participate, absolutely. I did hear someone say that there was a generalized stigma of, oh, well, all male BookTubers are gay or are only into reading YA, those girly books or whatever. Mm-hmm. And... I mean, I can see why some people would spread that around because some people are hateful or whatever, but I don't I don't think that is at all true. I would say maybe on just the YA reading, I would say a male would probably have more success in just numbers and analytics mm. by reading a majority YA, but that's just how that's booktube, just BookTube. That's just how booktube is and that's fine and right. you know. And and it all comes down to um, the publishing companies who give their books out for free and the majority of those books that they're giving out for free and pushing on people are mm-hmm. YA. So that's what people are consuming and getting excited about. I mean, if um, science fiction mm-hmm. publishers were pushing their books on everyone and people were getting psyched about that, I think that there would be more male. And that, that brings up a good point because I'm, I'm a regular over on Reddit and the book the huge majority book thread on Reddit does not talk about titles that are talked about all the time on BookTube. Right. And, you know, things like things like Neuromancer, you know, or, or Neil Stevenson books, if they yeah. get mentioned in a thread, they're straight to the top for the day, you know, of topics to discuss. And so yeah. it's obviously a much more male-dominated landscape I think because of content, because of adult sci-fi, I think is consumed much more by, by a male audience. I mean, it makes sense. It it would just appeal to the more analytical, logical, mm-hmm. natural. I mean, I'm not trying to generalize and say that there aren't like, you know. I I mean, speaking personally, I like my stories character driven. I'm I want to ship people. Like I'm I'm. That's what I look for in a story. And whereas, like, you don't give a crap about that kind of stuff. And you read stories that take place over thousands of years, and it's, like, big, huge ideas about, like, overall universe, world, situation. And that's not the type of story I gravitate towards. Um, that the, the narrative is much more important to at least me personally than... A character, character-driven story. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. I was I was just trying to gush to you oh, okay. one day about a story in a book that was so intricately woven 
with multiple dimensions and people crossing between and then different, they called it um, world tracks, different world tracks. So essentially different timelines within the dimensions. And I was trying to explain how great this culmination of the story was of, of the, you know, the, you the people just have to, twisting these, you these just have things to push through, through the first and, 600 pages and then it finally starts to make a little sense, right? Right. Yeah. No. Well, it's 200. First oh, 200. Okay. Pages. <laughs> that blew my mind. I, I loved that. And yeah. the characters could have been cardboard cutouts. It didn't matter. It was the ideas. It was the it was the events that were taking place that that were the important sure. and, and great parts of the story that I love and absorb. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that a huge part of what I enjoy about BookTube is people recommending books that I would not normally gravitate towards. And so, like, when you introduced me to the Rama series, that's a series I would have never, ever, ever, ever in my life picked up on my own. But I'm so happy I read it. It's, like, some pretty intense mm-hmm. sci-fi for, I mean, for what I read. And it it did blow my mind. And it was a story that I got into that didn't necessarily revolve so much around mm-hmm. the characters. It was like, it, it blew my mind. But still was a very character-driven story, too. And at least in a later story. I, let's see here. So the number three on the tag was, how do you think as a community we can attract more male book tubers? Um, speaking from a purely analytical sense to this question i'd Mm -hmm. say uh reading more adult sci-fi and more i guess video game based novels that's actually no because apparently reddit like flicks (laughs) shit at ready player one they don't like it because it's too juvenile but that's about video games because it's well so so okay, so novelizations of stories from video games. So Blizzard Entertainment, they do oh, World of Warcraft, okay. Starcraft, things like that. They they spit out these novelizations of you know stories within the mythos and things. So like stuff that. stuff I want to pick up. I ne- I right now have um oh shoot what is that? They they just made a movie out of it. The Assassin's guy, Creed. Yes, I have the first Assassin's book out, and I want to read it immediately, but I have not found the time. The storylines are great in video games. Absolutely. I totally understand the appeal. I just can't sit there for 20 hours trying mm-hmm. to, like, kill bad guys while I'm trying to get to, like, the next chapter of the story. And that mm-hmm. is something I wanted to expand on, too. Back in back in my day, these grand stories that you played through video games, there was no voiceover. You had to read everything. And so it was like reading a novel. It was like reading a sure. big choose-your-own-adventure Story and and sure. they had great stories. Final Fantasy VII is the classic example of a great video game story that to this day, uh, video game players still just gush about how great that game was. I wanted to mention a booktuber, and I'm I'm trying to look her up right now too. But she did the try try a chapter tag, uh-huh. and she did it based on sci-fi, and she picked up. She tried a chapter of Hyperion by Dan Simmons. This is a very classic adult sci-fi story, but it's very heavy in the world building and the amount of characters involved. This booktuber, I I wish I'd looked her up ahead of time. Anyway, I'll link her down below and everything. She's very, actually pretty popular. Reads mostly YA. And I was very, I was just, I was impressed. I was so impressed that she actually even just tried a chapter. She didn't pick it, obviously. She, you know, was kind of like Overwhelmed. miffed on like, I, you know, I, I think I know what I read. But, but just that she tried was amazing. Mm-hmm. I thought that was, I thought that was really great to see that. Um, just, just to try a story like that. And this Absolutely. is one I haven't even read because... I don't know why. Even my, one of my best friends gushes about it. It's like it's one of the best stories ever written. You got you have to read it. It's on your list. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, you reminded me of something. I think a huge part of BookTube obsesses over how much you can read and how fast you can read, and I think that also plays into why uh, young adult is so popular because it is so easy to read mm-hmm. that quickly. The writing style is not challenging. 
the story is not difficult to grasp. Um, it it follows fairly basic like plot lines. Mm-hmm. It's it's very easy to consume much of it very quickly, um, whereas a lot of and I, I've I've noticed over this year, two thousand seventeen, m- more booktubers are trying to branch out into more adult fiction and slowing down their reading, and they're making a conscious effort, and I appreciate mm-hmm. that yeah. so much because a lot of adult fiction and sci fi and fantasy, um, at least in my opinion, I need to read it slower and I need to let it like actually sink in, whereas a lot of YA you can just fly through that, but like you actually have to focus on and try and work things out in a lot of like heavier yeah. adult mm-hmm. um, fiction and sci-fi and stuff. Yeah, little things you can miss, stuff like that, that the sure. author intended for you to, you know, miss and sure. stuff, and you have to you have to pay attention to smaller things right. more, if, especially if you're trying to kind of have an active part in reading and trying to predict where the story is going to go, things yeah. like that, um, more specific to mystery maybe. So if there wasn't such a huge... Um, focal point on like how many books you read at the end of the month Mm -hmm. maybe that would open up some more uh, space for people to pick up these these bigger books that i I think that would appeal more towards a male audience yeah if that makes any sense right and i I think it's tough i i don't think booktube i i'm confident booktube does not do anything to discourage males from joining the community (laughs) So then, moving on, do you think having more males on BookTube will enhance the BookTube experience? I kind of touched on this before. I think gender has zero to do with what you contribute to the yeah. BookTube community. So Absolutely. Yeah. I think that the BookTube community is so amazingly inclusive and polite and friendly and welcoming, mm-hmm. and it's a great community, and anyone who wants to join is is welcomed with open arms as long as you're not a dick and so like the more the merrier honestly so i don't think that it would necessarily change the experience right but everyone's welcome Mm. so it is very interesting that i found for a a sub community of youtube which is notorious for its comments Mm -hmm. of how polite booktube is with yeah. its interaction of of its community until it's you get great. to the big channels and then you start getting oh, and then mm-hmm. you start getting the haters and mm-hmm. the people who start Just ragging people for fun. yeah yeah um and that's unfortunate it is okay uh so you looked up how many male oh. viewers and in the uh, statistics. Right, so our demographics. So we are 67% female and 33% male. That watch which, our channel? That watch our channel. Okay. So that makes I sense. I think that's might be pretty close to uh, what the actual demographic I is for YouTube. I wonder if her books ours here, is a little bit higher because we have. Right, it's both ours of is us? a very kind of different dynamic than the standard BookTube channel. Yeah, I don't but, know if that has anything to do with. I'm sure it has. But. You Probably talk. a large part. <laughs> totally. And then... And then we're going to shout out a bunch of male booktubers here. This is going to be a lot, and we're going to yeah. link all of their channels down below, because you should check them all out, especially if you notice that you there's not a lot of male booktubers on your feed. Mm-hmm. Definitely yeah. subscribe to these guys. Definitely. So we'll go ahead. Uh, so J.S. J.S. Chea. Hope I did that right. Uh, was the originator of this tag, uh, yep. the creator of the tag, uh, and then Michael S. Deutsch is how I discovered this discussion video, and then James at Plots and Points is how I discovered Michael S. Deutsch. Perfect. And then you want to go ahead and do those two. I know I'm kind of scattered there. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I'm just gonna shout them out. Um. Ben Sanders. Uh. Books and Looks is another duo channel. It's Mike They're... and Becca. They're really awesome. Um, Wolfshot Publishing. I really enjoy his videos. Um, let's see. Who do we have? Peter Clark, the writer. He does a lot of original tags. Um, Richard Reads. Savage Reads we talked about earlier. Strip, co- uh, strip Cover Lit is hilarious and definitely is a refreshing voice on BookTube. He, he picks books apart in like an actual 
literary it's uh Discussion. I I never realized what a dunce I was with right? English language oh until I I watched Adrian over at Strip Cover Lit and it's great. and it's great because it it you see things in a whole new light when you listen to him talk about books absolutely um science and sci fi uh, Memento Mori of course uh, I can't I can't figure out who's oh and then uh, oh, books and are my social life and Henry's. uh Hen reads, and then just Caleb. Yeah. We'll link all of them down below. Um, if you want to take part in this discussion, absolutely link us to that and and have fun with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And thanks for joining us on this video. Bye. Bye.